gentlemen, are you ready? Big head kick to begin this oh. fight, and he's down already. That's a big oh. right hand. Might have been dropped. Wow. I tell you, that was a great right hook. Shot body and head. Oh, big down. hand. That's dropped into the canvas. Big shot. Do you think he can recover oh, I'm this? I'm sure he's getting up. He's not getting up. Oh. It's all over. Ladies and gents, belt number 14 is a 17 kilo K1 contest over three two minute rounds. Introducing him fighting out of the blue corner from Coventry Fight Club, it's Louis Garbutt. Ladies and gentlemen, Louis Garbett. And introducing his opponent, your local man here in Thetford, from the East Anglian Kickboxing Academy. Let's hear it for Almontus Casa Leones. Ladies and gents, fighting out of the red corner, Almontus Casha Leonis. Bout number 14 is sponsored by Trous and Co. Decor. Red corner, Casha Leonis. Blue corner, Jarbet. Two minute rounds of K1 action. Louis Garbett, Coventry Fight Club in the blue corner. Armantas Casaglione, East Anglian Kickboxing Academy, Billy Brown. Well done. Our promoter here in his red corner. Big support for Casaglione. Sidekick immediately to start from Garbett. And they clinch up as Casaglione comes in. Cassiolone stalking his man, the all black shorts for Garbit. To walk Cassiolone down. Dougie Garbit thought earlier in the evening, now it's Louis' turn. And a right hand from Cassiolone clocks him, and now he fires straight back for forcing. Armantus Cassiolone to tuck up tightly. Jumps in with the front kick and then the left hand pushing virtually. Armantus Cassiolone to the canvas. No count. Albert switching as you can see. Southport to Orthodox. Armantus chops low. away from the next kick just go a bit chops low himself Casaglione steps in just a little slip there as he pushed forward key moment as he launched his attack swerve his side kick you can see from Garbett then jumps in and uses the hands over the top but has to take a heavy right in reply from Casaglione Jabs and steps back. The left hand lands from Garbett. Suddenly, Garbett explodes into action with the punches and drives the knee underneath. Oh, after a tough first round, you've got to say it's with Garbett. He was just the faster, just the quicker to the punch. That side kick landed cleanly. Took Casaloni off balance. He looked for the Superman punch and the round kick in reply himself. Garbett, the man pushing forward in these heavy hooking punches. The right hand over the top. And here's the sidekick to the midsection from Garbett. Then he jumps forward, looking for the opportunity to land the shot. But it's a good right hand counter from Casaglione. So it's well balanced this. Carlo, 10 seconds. So Take your seats, please. Round. Thank you. But for me, overall, it's a Garbett opening round. Round two. Leads with the push kick, then the round kick. 
Castiglione pushing forward himself. A little weaving, bobbing here. Looks for the jab, slips under the reply. Garvey comes forward again with the kicks. Fast paced start and jumps forward with the knee. Blistering start here to the second round for both men. Another quality matchup here for the victory. Quite serious. Looks for the left knee. Castiglione looks for the left leg and then. The boxing combination, and here he jumps in again, Garber, to set up the hands with those low leg kicks. The left and right through the channel, then the left round kick. A spin, right hand, and Castiglione just misses the mark. Looks to go off centre line, create the angles of attack. And then it waits. Throws the low kick. Garber steps away, throws the high kick. Castiglione steps away, good footwork, both men. Looks to put the pressure on Castiglione. Garbutt quick to hold when that big right hand came through. Chops low. Castiglione Garbutt responds. Throw back the kick. Thinks better. Spins with the side kick. Castiglione looks to come straight back. Bobbing and weaving Garbutt. Then he throws his own punch. But this is good work now from Castiglione. Staying in the pocket. Staying on his man. Keeping under pressure. And the crowd loving this. As suddenly Castiglione really asked the questions, firing the big shots. Garbett bobbing and weaving and looking to fire back. What a second round! Look at this, toe to toe. Beautiful work from both men. Bobbing, weaving, throwing the bombs. Castiglione suddenly lit the touch paper to set off the fireworks. And Garbett looked to respond. This is giving us a superb second round here as Castiglione keeps the pace up and suddenly Garbett seemed under real pressure and look at Billy Brown's response there he knows his man stepped on the gas in that second round Garbett pushing forward and then Castiglione having to take this kick suddenly pushes forward look clips the chin spins off the center line and then stays in front of his man firing off the shots Garbett good movement he doesn't take all of these shots that looks to respond Castiglione, for the full round, asked the question, started to put the pressure on, started to throw the leather, and you could see the bobbing and weaving style of Garber, the left hand coming back over. That's what made this second round so exciting. We've got a third and final round coming up. Third and final round! Castiglione this time jumps forward. Used to seeing his opponent do that in the opening two rounds, but you've seen Castiglione grow in confidence, and I expect a really fast-paced third round because this is a close close back and both men and both corners will know it and Castiglione looking to ask the questions again Garber he rolls and throws in reply just like that pushes Castiglione back both men letting the bombs go now the feet are planted the shots are heavy round two was explosive round three following what another great match up here Garbutt steps in with the left hook, just a bit wild. And Castiglione doubles up on the jab, but the left hook this time lands from Garbutt. It's been that sort of bout. Both men have been tested, both men are still there. Cardio not a problem, they both look fit enough to do at least another round. And Garbutt stands there and takes these low kicks. Bobs and weaves, and you know when he ducks low, it's to come back up with those hooks. But while he's not landing them, Castiglione is picking up the points here. There's the left hook now from Garber. Maybe just beginning to tire because Billy Brown is calling Castiglione on. But suddenly, Garber finds it from somewhere to fire back. But I do feel he's tiring. Breathes deeply, called on Castiglione. Crashes the low kick into the thigh of Garber. Crashes it forward again, but Garber again fights on the gum shield and pushes forward. It's been that sort of bad. Hard hitting, intense, and here they go again. Not long left now, and an enthralling back. Castiglione pushes forward well. But it was a hard fought contest. But in round two and three, I thought he was the man asking the question, staying in the pocket, 
it's K1, he was the aggressor, but Garber, as you can see, you cannot write him off. He would roll and throw in return, looking for those hooking punches. But I just felt that it was Almantas Casillonis that really pushed the pace in those last two rounds. Well, ladies and gents, what a great fight that was. Well done to both fighters, Louis Garbert and Alamantas Calimionis. <laughs> ladies and gents, after three rounds, the judges have scored this a unanimous decision. Well done to your winner, Alamantas Casa Leones. <laughs>